Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a custom shape. Uh, you might be hearing a little background noise over here. I got my heater going and it is snowing out. Anyway, while I'm enjoying that, I'm going to be enjoying showing you this video tutorial. And to make a custom pattern. To do this, we're going to make uh, go ahead and start off and we're going to use this uh, create rectangle pattern. And I'm just going to click and let go. It's going to give me dimensions. We're going to leave it all the same so it's completely square let's turn synchronize on and let's move this somewhere out of the way let's update that over here so this one's the same for right now inside the avatar and uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a print texture okay you can add a texture or a print texture it doesn't matter I like using the print texture if you do this way it doesn't tile okay tile means if you got a bunch of images and you got to rescale it and readjust it but if you use the create print, print texture let's right click and use the thumbnail um, if you get the dimensions and the size then it won't um, tile and so this one says 147 by 358 okay and I got two different ones here um, one one's got a background and one don't uh, I'll show you here in a second. I gotta remember this dimension here 147 by 358. Click. And we're gonna click here. Then we're gonna type in the same dimensions 137 by 358, I think. Press OK. And there it is. And it's not tiling. Alright, now this. Uh, this image here it's got transparency um, as you can see this one here they both got transparencies uh, they both got it in the uh, zipper head hole it's transparency but the difference in the two is th this one's got a background border and this other one doesn't and uh, I'll show you why I'm using one with a background border All right. Now that said, we'll just go ahead and bring this up here, and let's just kind of center this a little bit over here. So we're going to create a custom pattern for this. So we're going to zoom way in here, and we're going to select this icon right here to create polygon pattern. And I'm going to find me a start point, and I'm going to start right here. And I'm going to, instead of making a point, I'm just going to, I'm going to make two points down here so it ain't a sharp edge, okay? So I'm going to be the same. Then I'm going to select up here. Now it curves right here, but if I hold the control key to curve it, it curves to the previous point. So I need to make a point. I'm looking at the end point here where I'm going to stop and kind of in the middle where it's curving up. So I'll click here and I'll hold the control key and you can see it kind of bending right there. So I'm going to click right here here. Now I'm same way with this. Got a little curvature. I'm looking at where I started and my end point kind of in the middle or where it curves the most actually. It does look like it curves about right here the most. Then I hold the control key. Alright, then we'll follow through. We'll select here and here. Don't worry if you mess up. Once you get done you can go back and move into these points around. And we'll select here. And it starts curving around here somewhere, so I'll have to see if I hold the control key, it curves at the wrong spot. So what I'll do is I'll bring it out just a little bit, then I'll, I'm going to drag it further, further as I can before it starts to mess up, then I'm going to stop there. Alright. And I'm going to bring it down to, to the end. And I can see here, I want to come up to here, but I'm going to go kind of uh, in the halfway mark between here and here. I make a point here, hold the control key, and do the same here. Now, when I get to the other side, it's going to be the uh, symmetrical side. I'm going to try producing the points somewhere in the same ballpark figure as on the left side will be on the right. So if I select here, control key and then I'll bend around right here so I'm trying to match this point 
it zooms in too much. So I'm going to try to match this point across from that one. 